I just feel like I was my happiest in the womb. She used to be really mean before I trained her, but now she's a great dog. It's my birthday, I can steal what I want to. Hey, that's my car! No, it's okay, it's my birthday. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Thank you. <laughs> can you do a chef's kiss? What is the most concerning thing about your body that you haven't gotten fixed yet? My voice. I'm 29 and it still sounds like this. I swear you are like the only one I have left. I am this close to falling off the deep end. <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? But here I think I might be pregnant. Uh -oh. hmm. <laughs> so you can hear me. <laughs> you guys, I caught a fish. I caught the first fish. It's very exciting. I feel bad. That's a baby striper. Oh, no. <laughs> guys, don't tell my mom I'm eating lucky charms for the third time today. Why don't you stop recording? What day is it? It doesn't Does matter. My boyfriend He's think I'm hungry right forever. To take over I have the world. my dad so I should work out. I need a nap. Do I have COVID? I'm starving. Why am I cold Parents and sweaty? Pylorus. Obsessive compulsive dingbat. When will I be murdered? I'm allergic to apples. That's sad. I seriously, I thought I was picking up a 12 year old. <laughs> I know. So today I had to call a company because there was a leak at our house. And when the lady answered, I was telling her what was going on, and she was like, you don't sound old enough to have a house. And out loud, I was like, haha. But in my mind, I was like, you don't sound smart enough to have a job. What is the most unprofessional thing a doctor has ever said to you? I probably have others, but the one that comes to mind right now is I asked my dermatologist how to help make my skin less red, and he told me to not be born Irish next time. <laughs> so... I made the mistake of uh, using that face app to see what um, my boyfriend would look like as a girl. And yeah, he's like far more attractive than I am as a girl. Like I can't decide if I want to be him or date him, even as a girl. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed. What's your long emo song title? Start with, I don't really care about. Insert the last thing you went to the doctor for. Then we'll say, but I'm here for. And then insert the object to your left, comma. Insert the name of the last person you texted. I don't really care about my ear infection, really but I'm here for my paper mache rabbit head, like Juliana. Can I see that bottle? You're in big trouble, boy. Second time. Aren't I funny? Uh -huh. So we're just shopping for plants right now. And uh, so is Waka Flocka. So, what's up? What's up, Waka Flocka? So, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I bought a house and I freaking love it. Look, Cam is mowing our lawn. Oh, he's done. I don't really have any furniture yet, but these beams are from the Hershey Chocolate Factory, which is so cool. And I have the most important thing. And my backyard is vibey. I just want you all to know that I carried all 48 of these water bottles up at one time. Ow! from my garage because ow say it with me i'd rather die than make two trips that's right good job guys see you later so i wouldn't say i'm superstitious but i am a little stitious and these cats that i'm feeding right now look exactly like my pants i don't know what that means hi i'm kevin bacon and i think kevin McAllister is going to get the craziest tonight Hi, I'm Kevin Smith, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin Malone, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin James, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. I'm Kevin McAllister. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Make some... Oh, I don't understand. 
I got a phone call today and I answered it because I'm like, so nice. And they were like, hey, is Raina there? And I was like, no, sorry, you have the wrong number. And then he was like, oh, okay, are your parents home? Which is scary and annoying because I am 29 and this stuff happens to me every single day. And actually my mom was home. <laughs> She was right next to me and she heard it, so she could vouch for it. Because some of you think I make this stuff up, I don't have to make it up. These things happen to me literally every day. No need to make it up. What's the rudest thing that anybody has ever just said directly to your face? I've had people say really rude things about my voice in person and like millions of comments online that were super rude. By the way, if you leave mean comments to anyone, I, f I find you very sad as a human being. But Anyways, I had this old man acting coach once that told me I needed to lose weight and be sexier or else I wasn't going to make it. And I said bye because I decided I wasn't going to take advice from someone that was less successful than I was. Guys, look at this pretty butterfly and this cute little birdie. No, come back. He's so cute. Where's he going? <laughs> oh, real nice, Ron. Real nice, Ron. Today we're gonna talk about cake, but not the one that I'm about to bake. It's actually the one that you can stream. It's a show, but feels like you're in a dream. I only have 30 seconds to try to explain. I wish you could just jump inside my brain. It can be really funny or scary or sweet. It makes you think about what's abstract or concrete. You can enjoy it even with a short attention span. I hope I can get the cake out of this pan. It's sometimes animated, sometimes live action, but it's guaranteed to give you a reaction. You can never predict what will happen next. It might even leave you feeling perplexed. Stream cake so you can see and then I won't sound so crazy. Crazy. Girls, tell me about a time where your quick thinking probably saved your life. I seriously have so many of these. But this time I was in LA and it was late at night at a friend's party and I was leaving and my friend got an Uber and I made sure she got her Uber okay and then I got my Uber. And the dude was weird from the start, just like saying weird stuff about my voice and it's just like annoying and I feel like it's inappropriate when I'm like paying you to drive me home. And he was slurring his words and then he started swerving into the lane of the like oncoming traffic and luckily it was very late at night so there weren't a lot of cars. But I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't know what's going on with this dude. And then at the next red light, he started falling asleep. So my quick thinking, I changed the address in my phone to the nearest hotel on that street so I didn't have to get on the highway with him. And it was like a 20 minute time difference on the Uber and he didn't even notice that I changed the address. So I only had to be in the Uber with him for like a couple more minutes. He dropped me off at the hotel and then I took a taxi the rest of the way home. Not that bad things can't happen in a taxi. Of course they can, but my family owned a taxi company and I know that there's tons more regulations on taxis than there are on Ubers. Guys, uh, I'm about to attempt to put together some IKEA furniture, so if you don't hear from me for a few weeks, that's why. Um, apparently I need someone else to help me, so I hired this thing. He's doing a really good job so far. What's great about IKEA furniture is that all the pieces just come in one mixed up bag, and um, none of the furniture parts are labeled in any sort of way. And I really hope I'm not screwing this up. Also, by the way, I am hammered right now. Rude! I know it was a bad joke, but stop interrupting me. So just want to point out that this instruction manual is 40 pages. your quick thinking probably saved your life. So unfortunately, I feel like I've had to save my life multiple times, but luckily I am a quick thinker in bad situations. So this particular time I was on vacation in eighth grade with my friend Michelle, and we were on an island that has no bridge, so you can only get there by boat or helicopter. When people are there, they mostly drive golf carts, you just rent golf carts, and very few people have cars. It's only the people that like live there full time, which is like very few people. And there's only a cop on the island once a week. So we're driving back to my house at like nine o'clock at night. It's like pitch black out. And we end up driving past a stereotypical creepy white van with no windows in the back and tinted windows in the front. 
and drives very slowly past us and we start to get like a little like, bad feeling we keep driving and then we look back and we see this car trying to turn around to follow us so in this time that's trying to turn around on this small road i turn off the lights on the golf cart so it's like pitch black couldn't see anything but luckily i've been going to this island since i was literally an infant so i knew it very well I drove the rest of the way home with no lights on and i see the creepy white van trying to like look for us and driving super slowly but i can't find us guy turn the lights off suck it why you got lotion on the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's do it outside. Look at it! He's in there! Look at it! Bye! Goodbye! <laughs>